the human hologram. Humanity itself is an illusory form. The human hologram is made up of the same atoms when viewed under a microscope you'll see a mass of energy vibrating. Every part of the body is a smaller version of the whole body and this is why every cell contains all the information necessary to create an entire human form. Everything we think we see in the three-dimensional realm are simply light particles, energy atoms swirling around at an incredible speed. There is virtually nothing physical in an atom. The swirl of atoms creates such an incredible blur that it is impossible to see through them. Therefore, they appear real and physical and ultimately the three-dimensional world seems to take on substance or matter. If, however, they were forced to slow down and eventually stop, you would see right through them and into the eternal state and who we really are would be evident. Now, before we go any further, one of the most important symbols to know and remember is this symbol. Now, don't get bogged down at the mythological reference given. This symbolizes the three levels of consciousness or the three main levels of the illusion. This is like a formula for looking at everything in this three-dimensional universe. There are also sub-levels within these three levels themselves. This concept must be understood to comprehend this occult knowledge and understand this documentary as it is explained on different levels of the illusion, sometimes away from mainstream. The reason we need this formula is because we cannot see everything with our limited five senses. Even with complex technology, this is still limited. Once again, we view this technology with the same limited senses. Another reason is that we've been disconnected from other realms of reality and cannot see the other frequencies or realms. For example, the human body on one level of the illusion is flesh, blood and bones. Yet on another level, the body is a waveform made from light and chakra points and has waves of auras emanating throughout the body. Another deeper look at the body, which is made up of light atoms, the electrons spinning around quickly to give the illusion of solidarity form. The final level of this is the atoms and molecules themselves are like source codes or matrix codes of information. These atoms can communicate with each other no matter the distance even light years apart. This is because time and space are an illusion. Now, let's have a look at the human brain. The human brain on one level of the illusion is this mushy sponge. Yet on another level, the electric and magnetic firing of the neurons in the brain. Now, the third level of the illusion is the liquid crystal prism of our brains. Deeper levels of the illusion are always the same, light, atoms, and the very end is the information structure. How the mind really works. The mind is obsessed with shape, sound, and color. Why? Because that's all it has. The crystal brain was created that way. Thoughts are sounds, shapes, vibrations, and light. That's the universal language or software. The mind then decodes these sounds, vibrations, into a 3D holographic illusion. Over 400 billion pieces of information per second is sorted in the subconscious mind by the time it bubbles up through to the conscious mind. Now, depending on one's belief patterns, only 2,000 bits of information remain, which turns into a 3D experience we call life. The leftovers are the most self-serving information which is about the environment, our bodies and time. The mind manifests what it focuses on. When we consider how we see things in this 3D space, we're told, from an intellectual perspective, that light enters through the pupil of our eye, where it strikes the back of the eye, where it's reversed, and then travels along a neurological path to our brain, where it's flipped right side up again, and we see an image. Unfortunately, this is incorrect. Light is thought, and the thought of what we are intended to see is implanted within the liquid crystal prism of our brain. 
The suggestion, which originated from the original creative mindset, travels through the crystal brain. And similar to a ray of light passing through a rain shower, a rainbow of three-dimensional color, form and sound explodes in front of us. Whatever suggestion is attached to that explosion emanating from our crystal brain determines color, shape, depth, sound and so on. The things we see, the sounds we hear, the smells we smell, all these details are within the thought, which is the word, the sound, the vibration, the energy, the glowing, and is the light. This has all been implanted in our brains as subliminal suggestion, and we believe it, because we believe our senses, and all the suggestion attached to them. It seems real. Even the sun, moon, and stars that reflect light to our eyes make up the hypnotic suggestion to convince us that what we see is real. It's only light. It's just a seductive, illusory, convincing thought form conjured up by the original oneness. Physical mass does not move, only the information of the swirling mass of atoms that make it what it is. The all-seeing eye, which is the eye of Lucifer, in the atom matrix womb is also referred to the pineal gland. On one level, the pineal gland is the connection between the silver cord that is attached between the spirit body and the physical body. Thought or light travels through the spirit body which is made of hyperdimensional water. Humans and everything that has life has an etheric body which looks identical to the physical body but functions at a higher frequency. In fact, it is at the same frequency as the ether. The spirit body has access to all possible realities within the matrix illusion, which also connects us to our original oneness, or as some people will call, the God connection. DNA. This is the body's genetic library found in every cell and we all have some 120 billion miles of the stuff. It is DNA that carries the codes for our physical characteristics but it is far more than that. It contains in excess of a hundred trillion times more information than our most sophisticated storage devices. The DNA of all life, everything from a human being to a reptile, cat, dog, tree, flower, fish, insect, everything, shares the same codes known as A, G, C, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. This DNA tape has letters and a language, which is how we were created by this original thought entity. It is this programming into our very fiber that causes us to believe that what our language is saying to us is real. Without this language in our DNA, we would not give any credence to this 3D illusion we call life. However, because it is built into us to deceive us, we feel we have no choice but to accept that everything we see is real. The reader of the body software is called RNA, or ribonucleic acid, which is usually found in the form of a single strand. To keep it simple, the DNA is like the disk or template, and the RNA is like the laser that reads the information on the disk and communicates it to the cells. Mental and emotional influences like stress, trauma, and electromagnetic and chemical pollution, including additives in our food and drink. These can destabilize the RNA reading process and cause translation mistakes that lead to disease. All of these factors and more can affect how the RNA reads the DNA 
and this is fundamental to both physical and mental health and our sense of reality. Now listen carefully here. DNA is a crystalline structure and a receiver, transmitter and amplifier of frequencies or light. This is what plugs us into the matrix and plugs everything and everyone around us. We are all connected to each other, including every animal and every living creature. The subconscious mind is located in the DNA. The subconscious mind provides a link with infinite intelligence and all other minds. So, why are some people smart and some people not? Well, in reality we are all born on the same level of awareness. Different levels of awareness has to do with our programming and our belief patterns from the very start of life. DNA traits are also passed from father to son, mother to daughter, all the way from our past ancestry tree. We carry these traits and pass these traits to future generations. Higher levels of awareness also depends on how connected someone is to infinite intelligence inside the matrix illusion and infinite oneness outside the illusion. Spirituality, home surroundings and environmental surroundings also play a major role. Unfortunately, mental laziness is now the trend of today's society. This is why the elite bloodline are obsessed with interbreeding to pass down strong traits and occult knowledge through the generations. Consciousness Where consciousness observes matter appears, when you look into the eyes of another person you are looking at yourself. When you have high levels of awareness you will sense this one conscious. Quantum physics has now shown us that the person performing the experiment influences the outcome. In other words, consciousness can change the outcome of an experiment depending on its belief patterns. The Ether One of the biggest occult secrets kept hidden is about the Ether. Now listen closely to what I'm about to tell you. This was edited out of The Secret Law of Attraction and The Law of Success, including most versions of Napoleon Hill's classic. Every known thought, every known idea, every invention known to man exists in the ether. The ether is a great cosmic mass of eternal forces of vibration. It is made up of both destructive vibrations and constructive vibrations. The space between the planets is very much alive, that it is the highest form of vibration known, the vibrations of thought. The ether is all around us. We access the ether at will through thinking, but some people can access it at higher levels, which we will discuss in the free ebook. When Alexander Graham Bell gave us the telephone, he hinted that it had been done before. The old devices have been reinvented, he observed. The Earth beautiful earth, in her majestic state, when formed, was nothing as it looks today. We can only now view the earth in the three-dimensional frequency range, but the earth has many dimensions. So now we have established that there was no missing link found simply because there is no such thing as a missing link. All cultures began suddenly and fully developed 6,000 years ago. They did not rise to their peak. They were at their peak from the beginning. Our ancestors had access to the ether of thought and knew the answers to every question. Every idea, every known to man is stored in the ether. Some call the Asakic records of the healer Arc Echelon. Every inventor in history went with his bioplasmatic body attached to the silver cord and accessed these thoughts. The inventor knew how to put all these ideas together piece by piece for the invention to come together. Also, people in their sleep can acquire great ideas, inventions, and mathematical and scientific blueprints that form these inventions. Great writings are acquired in the same way. Before the deluge, this was done so much easier than now as humanity was tuned in to higher frequencies of consciousness, a direct link to the intelligence source. So, no one up to this day has ever discovered anything, just a rediscovery. Think of the human mind like this. A state-of-the-art computer with a hard drive having access to every possible infinite supply of software programs that's never ever ever ending. 
<laughs> That's the ether. The fabricated stories of alien spirits or channeling the dead are all communications of thought in the ether. Channelers channel thoughts from the ether. Every human brain communicates with infinite intelligence, but only a few know how to master it. Someone has been lying to us. It needs to stop. People need to know the truth. Explanations To answer the many intelligent questions that have been asked on the Holographic Universe series, made for Year 6 students to comprehend, including questions like, If a truck hits me, will I feel it? Is that an illusion? Or, is paying the bills every week an illusion? The answer is yes. It's still an illusion. This 3D illusion is our reality and our experience. We see it and feel it on every level of our existence through the five senses. Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one, said Albert Einstein. In 1982, a remarkable event took place. At the University of Paris, a research team led by physicist Alain Aspect performed what may turn out to be one of the most important experiments of the 20th century. You did not hear about it on the evening news. In fact, unless you're in the habit of reading scientific journals, you'll probably have never even heard Aspect's name. Though there are some who believe his discovery may change the face of science. You can read about it at www.theholographicdisclosure.com There is no out there, out there. It's all happening inside our brains. The universe is inside us. The universe is there only when we wish to observe it. Every section of it breaks down to a level one wishes to observe. The three-dimensional plane is just an illusion of electrons, protons and neurons buzzing around at breakneck speed creating the illusion of matter, time, and space. There is no such thing as matter, no such thing as time, and no such thing as space. Scientists can't understand why subatomic particles can communicate instantly with each other over staggering distances because they're thinking in terms of space, but there is no space involved. How can a system or an object be in two or more states at the same time? It's very easy. Instead of thinking of things as things, we all have a habit of thinking that everything around us is already a thing existing without my input, without my choice. You have to banish that kind of thinking. Instead, you really have to recognize that even the material world around us, the chairs, the tables, the rooms, the carpet, camera included, all of these are nothing but possible movements of consciousness. And I'm choosing moment to moment, moment out of those movements to bring my actual experience into manifestation. This is the only radical thinking that you need to do. But it is so radical, it's so difficult, because our tendency is that the world is already out there, independent of my experience. It is not. Quantum physics has been so clear about it. Heisenberg himself, co-discoverer of quantum physics, said atoms are not things. They are only tendencies. So, instead of thinking of things, you have to think of possibilities. They are all possibilities of consciousness.